How's it going guys? Chaos Prime here with another Destiny 2 video. So now that we've gotten past the whole Kate's death and the whole shock of it has gotten over us, what else has the Forsaken DLC got for us? Well, we do know that the weapon changes coming in are going to be quite extensive. In fact, as they previously showed, you'll be able to equip shotguns in each and every slot. Now certain weapons like the Legend of Acrius will only be a heavy weapon, but these are few and far between. Essentially they're giving us the freedom to do as we wish. Of course, as design lead Lars Bracken puts it, Bungie is opening up the sandbox and the gameplay in ways they're uncomfortable with. The idea here is that they want us to go out there and basically just have complete riot fun and basically break it as much as we can so they can fix it. Clearly there's not enough time for them to fully test this feature no matter how much they've put it through and based on what they're saying there's almost an expectation that major changes will be needed post launch in this once players have had the chance to find the holes. Now in the expansion, we've clearly seen that the Gambit mode is the key feature of this expansion. We're getting an evolving realm in the Awoken City, Dreaming City, and obviously we're getting the Prison of Elders with the whole Cade's death. But what else? I mean, this can't be all the expansion is going to offer us. Well, there's plenty more promised in this expansion. Bungie are on a mission to bring the hobby back. And this is the key with this expansion. They want that hobby feeling to come back. With an array of different activities, players will be able to pick and choose on a daily basis what they would like to do. Of course, a lot of this is still in development, even though we are two and a half months away, and it's not yet revealed. But some aspects of this have already been shown, like the collections and titles, and giving everyone long-term objectives to work towards. The collections here is clearly going to be the core essence of the activities, while the return of daily bounties to pick and choose from will bring back a feeling of variety. Again, how these bounties will mix in, whether they'll be PvP based, PvE based, strike based, raid based, we don't know. And what's even more important here with the bounties that we don't really know about is the rewards, and these are clearly important things for this feature. So hopefully Bungie can elaborate on this soon. Like I said, we are two and a half months away, so we should start to see some form of information on these. Something that's going to be changing in Destiny 2 Forsaken is the way milestones work. And this is no surprise, milestones have needed an overhaul for quite some time. And it seems Forsaken will be delivering that. Currently, you get like five or six or maybe seven or eight milestones that you have to complete. And that's pretty much you done for the week. It seems that this will change and this was dropped in the interview when the new daily, weekly and monthly goal systems are introduced within Forsaken. So this essentially tells us that the old weekly milestone system will go and it is going to be overhauled with a daily, weekly and monthly milestone system. So we'll be getting short term, mid term and long term goals to work on in order to complete objectives to help us power up, achieve certain goals and to progress our light level. After all, the light level now is at 600. It's a big jump from 385 to 600, and this is a big deal. Normally in every patch we go up by like 100 or maybe 150 tops, but we are going up almost 250 light here. It's a big jump and a bit outlandish to be fair but i commend them you know they want to they want to make a statement here they want the leveling up process to last they want it to extend as much as possible they don't want you hit a max level immediately so they want this to last a long time especially considering that the next expansion that we're supposed to get is of the dreadnought and if that doesn't arrive that's pretty much going to be for destiny 3. We also have the return of character boosts that will be coming with every copy of Destiny 2 Forsaken. These are called Sparks of Light. If you've played the previous Destiny, Destiny 1, you'll know exactly what these are. These basically boost your light and take you to the point where you could start playing Rise of Iron or to the point where you could start playing the Taken King. After all, they were first introduced in the Taken King. However, they did not complete their main campaign. The ones in Forsaken will do just this. If you use it on a character, not only will it complete the whole campaign up to that point to bring you on par, but it will make you power level ready for 
that release. So expect 385 gear to be given with this spark of light. So if you are struggling to get to 385, this may be an option for you in order to get it. But if you're going to get Forsaken, the first piece of armor you're going to get is going to skyrocket your light level anyway. But if you're new, if you have started a new character, this is something you can use and just blitz through the first bits within a second and get Forsaken ready. And that's pretty much all I had for this video. I just wanted to make a quick video to talk about the bounties, uh, the daily, weekly, monthly milestones that we should be getting when Forsaken is released. Don't expect what you're getting to be the final product. It may be overpowered, it may be underpowered. They're expecting us to basically play, weigh in, and then give them feedback on the new weapon system. This is something new for them. This is something never before done in Destiny. So this could completely unbalance. So hopefully since they are expecting this to happen, these changes will happen in good time rather than take forever to come about again. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. If you've enjoyed this video, a like would be greatly appreciated. If new, subscribe. As always, Guardians, I'll see you in the next video.